Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you've been searching for a text-to-speech model that's not only incredibly powerful but also completely free, then you're in the right place. Today, we will be installing the newly released Kokoro 82M TTS model, a state-of-the-art open-source TTS model that's been attracting some serious attention in the AI community. Kokoro is currently sitting at the top spot on the TTS Spaces Arena leaderboard, and honestly, after my own testing, I can see why. The speed is almost unbelievable, delivering near real-time results. You are now watching the Local Lab YouTube channel. Hit that like and subscribe button if you're enjoying the content. For anyone looking for top-tier performance without the price tag, this is likely the best option available right now. What's even more impressive is its size. With just 82 million parameters, Kokoro is surprisingly compact, which means it can run efficiently on a wide range of devices, opening up possibilities for all sorts of applications. Kokoro itself is based on the Style TTS2 architecture, which is known for its efficiency, both in training and generation. Even though it was trained on a relatively small dataset of less than 100 hours of audio, it's managed to outperform much larger models and evaluations. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the simple steps to get Kokoro up and running locally on your machine using Docker, which I know can sometimes be a headache to work with, but is a fantastic tool for containerizing applications, making them easy to deploy and run consistently across different environments. We'll be leveraging the fantastic Kokoro Fast API repository created by Rimsky, who provides a straightforward Docker setup for the Kokoro model. This repository not only makes the installation process a breeze, but also includes a really useful OpenAI compatible speech endpoint. This means you can easily integrate Kokoro into your other projects and even access it through an API, which is incredibly powerful. And for those who want to give Kokoro a spin without any installation hassles, I've also put together a quick collab notebook that gets you generating speech in as little as three code cells. So, whether you're a seasoned developer or just curious about the latest in TTS technology, stick around and let's get Kokoro talking. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to stay updated on more exciting AI content. To support the channel further, consider joining my Patreon, where you'll find exclusive benefits. These include custom workflows, easy one-click installers for the latest Hanyuan and LTXV video generation models, which make it simple to start generating videos even on low VRAM devices. Plus, you'll get access to a wealth of other resources to help you create amazing AI art. Just click the Patreon link in the description to explore the projects you need, and stay tuned for even more exclusive content coming soon. Alright, let's move on to trying out Kokoro in the cloud using a super convenient collab notebook I've put together for you. You'll find the link to this notebook down in the description below. Go ahead and click on that, and it should open right up in your browser. If you haven't used Collab before, you might need to sign in with your Google account. Once you're in, the first thing we want to do is make sure we're using a GPU for faster processing. Click on the Connect button in the top right corner. If it's not already connected to a T4 GPU, just click on Change Runtime Type and select the T4 GPU option from the drop-down menu. This will give us the processing power we need to run the model efficiently. With that all set, let's dive into the notebook itself. The first cell is pretty straightforward. Just hit the play button, and it will automatically download all the necessary repositories and install all the required Python dependencies. Think of this as getting all the tools and ingredients ready for our TDS recipe. Next up, in the second cell, you get to choose the voice you want Kokoro to use. There's a drop-down menu with 11 different voices to pick from, so you can try each one out for yourself and see what you like best. Once you've made your choice, just run that cell. This will download the Kokoro TDS model and initialize the remaining bits of code needed to run everything. Now for the fun part. The final cell is where the magic happens. Simply type or paste the text you want Kokoro to speak into the text box and hit the play button. You'll be amazed at how quickly it generates the audio. In my experience, the generation times are incredibly fast, 
and the voice output is remarkably smooth and natural sounding. It's a fantastic way to quickly experience the power of Kokoro without needing to install anything on your own computer. Okay, for those of you who want to run Kokoro locally, giving you more control and the ability to integrate it deeply into your projects, let's walk through the Docker installation. This method, thanks to Remsky's Kokoro Fast API repository, really simplifies the process. Now, before we get started, you'll need to have Docker installed and running on your machine. Head over to docker.com website and find their Get Started page. From there, you can download the installation package appropriate for your operating system, whether you're on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Follow the installation instructions to get Docker up and running. You'll also need Git installed on your system. Git is what allows us to easily download code repositories from platforms like GitHub. Just do a quick Google search for Git Downloads and you'll find the Git SCM website where you can download the installer for your operating system. With both Git and Docker ready to go, we can now create a folder on your computer where you want to keep the Kokoro project files. Open up your file explorer, navigate to where you want this folder to live, and in the address bar, just type CMD and hit enter. This will open up a command terminal right in that directory. Now, to download the Kokoro Fast API repository, type the following command, git clone, then copy and paste the Kokoro GitHub repo link. This will copy all the files from the GitHub repository onto your local machine. Once the cloning is complete, we need to navigate into the newly created project folder. In your command terminal, type cd Kokoro Fast API and press enter. Finally, for the magic command, type docker compose up dash dash build and hit enter. This command tells docker to build the project's image and start the container. It will automatically download and install all the project's dependencies needed to run Kokoro in an isolated and secure environment. Now, this part might take a little while, depending on your internet speed. It needs to download the project's dependencies, configure PyTorch, and download the Kokoro TTS model itself. Even though Docker can sometimes be a bit complex to work with, this setup really streamlines the process and makes it surprisingly easy once everything is up and running. Once the Docker container has finished building, you have a couple of ways to start using the Kokoro TTS model. The Kokoro Fast API repository includes a built-in OpenAI compatible API which is great for integrating Kokoro into other applications. But for a user-friendly experience, you can also access it through a Gradio web interface. In your Docker terminal, navigate to your Kokoro TTS Docker container and clicking on the container to open your Kokoro server terminals and click the Run button next to the localhost 7860 port server to start up the local Gradio web UI. Copy that link and paste it into your web browser or sometimes you can just click on the localhost link in the left menu of your terminal and it will take you directly to the UI page. From there, interacting with Kokoro is a breeze. You just type or paste the text you want the model to speak into the text box. You can then select one of the available voices from the voice pack. You can also choose the audio format you want your output to be saved as, like MP3 or WAV, and even adjust the speaking speed with one being the default average speed. Beware of the WAV format as I did run into some issues with it shortening my audio outputs prematurely. Once you've got everything set, just click the generate button to start creating your audio. Hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. If you have a longer piece of text in a file, you can also use the from file tab. Instead of typing directly, Simply upload a TXT file containing the text you want Kokoro to generate, and it will process it from there. The audio quality from this model is genuinely impressive. It's honestly some of the best I've heard from an open source TDS model, and is really on par with some of the top commercial options out there, like Eleven Labs. Now, if you're interested in taking this even further and learning how to train your own custom voices that you can use with this model, let me know in the comments below. If there's enough interest, I'll put together another video walking you through that process. Finally, when you're done using Kokoro, you can easily shut down the Docker container. 
In your Docker desktop application, just find the CoCoral project and click the Stop button. And if you want to start it back up again later, run the Docker command in the terminal the same way you did before and just hit the Run button next to your container's project name. So, there you have it. We've covered how to get started with the incredible CoCoro TTS model, both in the cloud with a simple Collab notebook and locally using Docker for more advanced use. CoCoro really represents a significant leap forward in accessible, high-quality text-to-speech technology. I highly encourage you to give it a try and see for yourself the amazing results you can achieve. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth looks at the latest advancements in AI and tech. Let me know your thoughts and experiences with CoCoro in the comments below. I'm always curious to hear what you're working on. And as always, thanks for watching.